Hello, this is Luke Despair again. I'm sitting back here behind the Tunstall store with the uh, supposed graves of Alex McSween right here and John Henry Tunstall. Uh, as you know, most people who studied the history of Billy the Kid or the Lincoln County War is uh, pretty familiar that Billy the Kid was friends with these guys and he also worked for John Tunstall on his ranch out on the Rio Feliz. Uh, John Tunstall was killed by a posse on February 18, 1878 on what most historians feel was a, a drummed up attachment writ an excuse a lot of people feel they used to, to kill Tunstall. They trailed him out in the mountains up, uh, down near Glencoe, New Mexico and caught him up there with some of his horses and some of his men. Billy the Kid was present at the time and basically there was no way to put it they murdered him in cold blood and then tried to say he was resisting arrest. It was basically a group of outlaws that had been deputized. And uh, like I say we are sitting here where the grave is supposed to be marked. I would like to note to you, since the purpose of the Outlaw Gang is to preserve and promote true history, I do not feel that these graves are in the correct location, which many other historians don't either. Uh, I think it's kind of, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what year these were marked out here, but I do know it's highly disputed on where they are. Many historians feel that the grave sites are actually a little further to the east here. We're going to not pan that way totally because there's some houses here and I don't want to uh, invade into anybody's privacy, so to speak, because this is somebody's yard over here to the to the east of us. But most accounts from back then showed that the old corral ran right here, if you can pan over with the camera just a little bit, showed that the camp, that the uh, corral used to come out here off the edge of this and it ran kind of towards the, about the middle of the store out eastward. And that's where they used to show it. And uh, most accounts and diagrams from back then that show where they were buried showed that they were buried east of the store and further east of the corral, which would have been off to my left out this direction. Again, we're not going to pan that way because we don't want to bait anybody's privacy. There's some residences right over here. But a lot of historians feel that very likely some of these guys, uh, Tunstall, or Tunstall and McSween, were most likely buried over probably in that area, probably on somebody's private property. And maybe that's why the state way back when didn't mark the graves in their true locations because it's privately owned. But uh, again, I don't feel that this is the correct location of these gentlemen. I believe they're probably buried a little over to our left, and maybe 10, 20 yards. And, uh, and there's also some other folks buried out here too that never got mentioned. A uh, guy by the name of Daniel Huff died. He was buried out here and several other folks that were uh, that are not marked, obviously. But anyways, the two most famous names in the in the situation died during the Lincoln County War. Again, John Henry Tunstall and Alex McSween. Alex McSween was a business partner of Tunstall, and they went in together and opened this store here, which uh, these graves are behind. And uh, that is the old Tunstall store that she just panned over and showed you there. And uh, another important thing to note right here, where we're at, like I said earlier, the corral is isn't here no more. It used to be a corral that ran kind of out here, and also uh, if you can pan there toward that alley. It's important to note this is most more than likely back then during the Lincoln County War. This building right here to our left of the store here was not standing at that time. It was uh, not here and the corral ran all the way from the edge of that building over this direction. And on the morning of April 1st, 1878, Billy the Kid and approximately six or seven other regulators hid in this corral waiting on Sheriff Brady. Sheriff Brady rode in the town that morning to convene with the uh, the district court that was supposed to open. He was, he was going to post a notice that it was, wasn't going to convene that day. And as he was walking down the street, somehow the regulators uh, before that had gotten word and they laid an ambush here. I'll walk up here and give you all a show what I'm talking about. The regulators were hit in the ambush here. The corral used to run approximately from some of the old, old photos I've seen. Looks like the corral ran off of this building here and out this direction. There would have been a, probably a gate here somewhere and, uh, and corral bars that they were looking through. So the regulators were probably approximately somewhere right in here lined up looking out over a gate or over uh, railings, fence railings waiting as Sheriff Brady walked down the street this direction or that direction. Even the direction they were traveling that morning is disputed among historians, but uh, Brady, Long, and Hyman were all walking down the street this direction, and uh, Matthews and the regulators opened fire on that morning. They killed him, and Sheriff Brady fell dead right there in the street, approximately out there where you can see in that location. He fell dead out in the middle of the street, and so did uh, Deputy Hyman, both of them mortally wounded. Matthews was able to run across the street to the Cisneros house, after he took cover over there, Billy the Kid and Fred Waite jumped the corral wall, ran out into the street to grab the, ra the rifle that Sheriff Brady had confiscated from Billy on February 19th, 1878. Uh, he took it from Billy after the, uh, on the day that Tunstall was buried, and he took his rifle, and a lot of historians feel that Billy was running out in the street to get his rifle back. As Billy knelt down over the body to pick up his rifle, uh, Matthews opened fire on him from across the street over there in his Cisneros house, which you can't see from here, it's over that direction and uh, wounded Billy, grazed him in the thigh, and uh, they run back for cover, of course, and in a few minutes, the regulators uh, got out of Lincoln pretty quickly because they knew the authorities would be after them because they just murdered the county sheriff and one of his deputies. 